If you have seen one of my short videos on YouTube, you maybe know already what kind of car I have in front of me. It is a classic from 19... Welcome back to the channel, back in Norway, back to work. And uh, we just uh, took a delivery of a pretty nice classic. Um, yeah, just gonna get us inside the building here. And the car is right in here. But if you hold on a second, The lights on. This is my little office space for having my customer when we sign some contracts. We're having a little car shop here. And uh, yeah, anyway, too much gibberish coming out of my mouth. Uh, if you have seen one of my short videos on YouTube, you maybe know already what kind of car I have in front of me. It is a uh, Classic from 1979. It's a Toyota Carina, and I think it's uh, really, really nice. The only thing that actually bothers me is uh, it's got a couple of small dents in the door. So uh, I think we have to get those fixed. But uh, otherwise, I think it's uh, pretty, pretty well taken care of. Just look at the interior so uh, just check out the seats and everything how clean and well taken care of everything is on the roof the only thing they uh, did inside it was uh, swap this uh, steering wheel we also got this pop the clutch air fresher 3 which has a new car smell on it it smells pretty good actually so we're gonna pop the hood i'm not sure we're gonna be able to pop some clutch with this car but <laughs> time time will show maybe so the engine is uh, pretty stuck it's a 1.6 liter so uh, the only thing they they have done to this engine is uh, actually swap to a dual carburetor and they also did swap out the manifolds, but they swapped it into some uh, uh, not original, some kind of a custom manifoil. Just think about this is a 1979. Just look how well taken care of this car is. No rust in the engine bay. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's just a beautiful car. So please help me out here. I have a super hard time to not do some JDM stuff to it, but I really like it as it is, but it would be super great to just make a pretty cool car out of it. Mm, you know, you know how it is. If you're a car guy, you know what I mean. And I already order a couple of JDM parts for it, but more about that a little bit later in this episode. So stay tuned for that. But now let's uh, get it started. We have to pull the shock. <laughs> right guys, let's take this car for a little spin. <laughs> and we got no air conditioning at all. So we uh, just have to use our windows. You know, it's not a race car, but anyway, <laughs> it's really fun to drive. Just uh, taking you back, back in time. I just love it. And I do understand why people just love these cars. Oh, check this out. Sweet. Let's take this uh, car back to the garage. I'm gonna tell you what I already ordered for the car and maybe what we're going to do in the future with it. Do 
you think I'm gonna leave it like this or you think I'm gonna go for it and just do something? If you have some ideas, leave a comment below. So we ordered fender flares for the front and the back to make it a little bit wider. I'm not sure if we're gonna swap the wheels yet. Uh, maybe we're just gonna use some spacer to, to get them out. It's going to be a classic front spoiler. That's the two main things I ordered for now. I think it's really nice as it is now, but you know, uh, thinking a little bit about maybe a ducktail in the back and make the car a little bit lower. And I think maybe that will be it. Should I leave it as it is now? Or should I just go for it? Put the fender flares, the front spoiler, maybe order a ducktail and something like that. Leave a comment below, let me know. So uh, that's it for today. I hope you liked this episode. Leave a comment, subscribe, and you know the rest. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys around. Peace.